Marcus Josiah Dali's birthday. And you know, we always, the government has always advocated that we know our history. We know where we came from and where we are going. If you, if you don't know where you came from, you never know where, where we're going. So we've made this small contribution to ICA, who continue to promote the history of our people, the history of our country. I want to tell all young solutions that should really read the life and the, and the teachings of Marcus Garvey. A lot of that still is still relevant today. So this is just a small contribution. And we know that we've, we've said to that in the Ministry of Education that African history has to be promoted. We cannot be afraid of our past because of the errors or the gains of the past. That's why we are here uh, today. So I'm very proud to be associated. The government is very proud to be associated in the observance of the, the birthday of Marcus Garvey. We're very proud and we hope that ICON that they've continued to maintain that position where our history is important. So all the best. Thank you very much, Pia. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Do I get to say a few words? Yes, especially today. Well, I, I want to first of all say hats off to the PM because he continued to show his level of consciousness when it comes to black history and African history. And even some of the works that he's doing and in the works that he's doing to help the ordinary folks, the poor people and so on. You know, reinstating things like the distress fund, that is a great thing because a lot of people, you know, their little plywood house get burned down, they don't have that kind of assistance. So the Prime Minister shows that he has a hat and he has his consciousness about him. So it goes to show that he's following in the footsteps of men like Marcus Garvey. So it's good to have somebody like the PM that is in office today to understand those things. And we want to encourage him to keep going down that road because we have to keep telling our story. No more of his story, but our story needs to be told. And when we tell our story, we will realize that colonialism had no conscience because it totally destroyed us and decipated us as a people. So we have to ensure that we keep telling our children about the slaying of their ancestors and the slave trade and all these things. And Marcus Garvey was a tower in that regard. Coming just after the Emancipation a Proclamation in 1834-1838, Marcus Garvey was born just about 50 years later when black people was coming out of the shackles of slavery and he caused us to raise our heads, he supported black enterprise and even now we've seen through this administration of the youth economy and all these things going on, a way for the youth to get out of poverty and all these things were in the teachings of Marcus Garvey because he promoted black enterprise, black entrepreneurship it is even said that he had a hand in the formation of the first bank, the, the first national bank also known as the Penny Bank Marcus Garvey influenced men like JQ Charles to go into business so we want to encourage the government to continue going down that road, continue giving us the support. We stand as the vanguards to ensure that our history is continually told as a people and we're not going to let up on this. And it's just fitting to see the government now, you know, assisting us in that regard. And we're going to continue to do our work and we encourage the government to continue doing their work and we encourage the prime minister to keep on that level of consciousness that he has. We need this in this day and time, a leader that understands those things, understand our story for him to be able to assist us as time goes by. So once again, Mr. PM, keep the consciousness, you know, um, and kindling our consciousness, teachings of Marcus Garvey and many of our great leaders. We need to put these things in the school. And I must say, recently we got a letter from the Ministry of Education, again, through this government, granting ICA permission to go into the school system and talk to our children about men like Marcus Garvey, Mandela, and all these kind of leaders. And even right here, men like John Quinlan, you know, our very own John Quinlan, who was a Pan-Africanist. So we need to embrace our history as a people, and the government is certainly giving us, giving us the support to do that, and we thank the Prime Minister for that immensely. So, Mr. Marcus, Gavine. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And, and